Okay, we're here to talk about a hot topic right now. And a lot of people have this question and a lot of people are being quick to make these decisions that you shouldn't make lightly. You should really stop and figure it out and figure out what's gonna be best for your specific situation. I'm gonna definitively ask this question once and for all. So keep watching, because at the end, I'm gonna actually explain and show you what you should be doing. The question is, should you buy, hold, or sell? Those three questions have confounded property investors for centuries because people never know which one to do, do they? Buy, keep, or sell. What do you do with your property right now? It's like a game almost. Well, you've got three options. So everyone's yeah. confused. They're going, well, interest rates are high. We don't know what to do. At the end of this, you're gonna know exactly what to do. So buy, hold, or sell. With property, the property market, and people have to realize this, there's confounding factors that some things are pushing the property market down, others are pushing it up. It's never one way or the other. So people think about the property market too basically. And they're like, oh, it's going up or it's going down. Well, no, some things are pushing it down, some things are pushing it up. Are we at the beginning of that cycle or the end of the cycle, what's happening? And there's different cycles within cycles. So what I do is I like to look at the cycles and find out, okay, what's pushing property up? What's pushing it down? What's stronger? Is it gonna go up or down? That's the key.